because the drummer is there, they're like the driver. Us on the road, if the driver gets to carry the way, we're gonna crash badly. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to the first ever episode of Amgoy Laka TV, uh, season one, episode one, and we've got none other than John Kabir. The greatest today. of all. John exactly, Kabir. the greatest of all. And he's performing today with uh, John and the Circus. Taraj ke radio shaati ne perform korte 92.4 FM second day of Eid. They're gonna go on air very soon as well. So uh, we've got a good show and a very exciting one today. We're gonna go in, uh, take some footage of uh, them performing. All right, guys. So I'm Ajay. We'll go in and we'll see you in just a short bit. See you. Yes. See you guys. See you. So what we want to know and I think what the viewers want to know is how, how the show is going definitely behind the scenes. Short like everyone's at chess, sound check and everything shall be like your stuff. It's always fun to play with three members from Sorry, this booty. This is there. really fun, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so uh uh so uh, show prep three figure I can much kind of break actually it's it's really fun. And with uh, with the project band of John and the Circus, like uh, how's that going for you guys? Like, well, now I can't because now that Dalo is like, very busy with our first album, mm-hmm. so I can't really just we hang out yeah. and we talk about <laughs> like, life, 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 dogs. <laughs> so yeah, actually. So let's see after um, let's see what happens. Any, any big plans or maybe? Just well, I'm not thinking about it right now. Yeah, not right now. And you got to drum drum sounds and everything when you're performing. Is there a specific sound that you want from the drummer or is it do you Yeah, uh, I have this uh, everyone is different. So Amar Kacha Johan live when it's live, I'd rather prefer uh, no mics, uh, like overhead mics because Ami Jaina, I mean by the Jokni Shogula Deki. It's always perfect. I don't know if it's a placebo effect or what not, <laughs> but they sound perfect to me. I'm a I always then see the concert about the performance. The drums and the voice, the singer is the loudest. Baki shop which you want. And we can take a matter to you is a jab, you know, cut the overhead so that the extra high jada na hai. See, the, it's funny. Je, একটা কনসার্ট আমরা যখন দেখতে যাই বা বাজেতে যাই এক এক একটার পর একটা আর্টিস্ট আসছে তার হাতটা সেট করছে বা নয়টা দশটা গানে সেট করছে এভরি ওয়ান্স ড্রাম সাউন্ড এন্ড এভরি ওয়ান্স গিটার সাউন্ড নট গিটার সাউন্ড এভরি ওয়ান্স ড্রাম সাউন্ড ইজ দ্য সেম হাউ ক্যান দ্যাট বি ইটস নট দ্য সেম পারসন প্লেইং এক্স্যাক্টলি ওয়ান মোর কোশ্চেন উই ওয়ান্ট আস্ক ইউ স্পেশালি বিকজ ইন দ্য এনভায়রনমেন্ট ইউর ইন देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लीड देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ মাইকস दैट आर हियर द ड्रम সাউন্ড the drummer specifically erokom onek situation thake amader onek drummer er onek situation e porte hoy jekhane amader onek chepe bajate hoy volume control how important do you think that is it's super important because whoever is doing the sound they're doing a great job just by you know ne ane odher kane ja shunte shekhan theke because orokom higher studies of sounds but have acoustics ni borshona kora i don't know koy jon ache but jara ache tara korche kina ba tara ki korche i have no i have a dakono pai so a shop situation and the drummer has to play their part uh, they cannot go all out in every when yeah. you're like ikhani zulia jekhon ba prothom bar chilo when you were prepping for the show so he was going all out Drums. <laughs> you have to stick. <laughs> 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 so, now I want to give a parsing bologi. 
There you see the drummer going up, 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 and then they, you know, drop again, and, yeah. and you're like, you know, let's just go with the drum. <laughs> and uh, one thing, uh, one really important advice I want to give to our drummers is like, please don't play your drums while the other members are discussing something. Oh, please! <laughs> Hear that, drummers. <laughs> this is very, very important. I just don't, just don't. We're discussing songs or we're discussing something else. Please stop. Hey. It's very important. To don't save do your, it. To save yourself from embarrassment, this is one very important advice. You must not. It is a lot of churkani. Absolutely. It just bothers the hell out of me. Churkai, man. Your guitarist is sound check. Your guitarist is on a sound check at on a time. Na. It's true. But. আপনার <laughs> 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 আপনি অন্য একটা ড্রামারকে যখন দেখেন ওয়েন ইউ সি হিম লাইক দ্য গিটার ইস এ সাউন্ড চেকিং অর হি ইস টিউনিং দ্য গিটার অর ইউ আর ওয়ার্কিং অন আ সং হুইচ হ্যাপেন্স অল দ্য টাইম ইন দ্য জ্যাম প্যাড এন্ড একটা ড্রামার বাজে পারা টু টু বারা টু টু পিয়া টু পিয়া টু কোট দিস ইটস রিয়েলি অ্যানোয়িং লাইক আই মিন আই ডোন্ট নো হাউ দে ফিল লাইক এন্ড আস্ক মি ইয়া এক্স্যাক্টলি ইউ উড নো লাইক ইউ ইট বিন সো 14 ইয়ার্স অফ দ্যাট এক্স্যাক্টলি সো ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট মেসেজ আই থিং দ্যাটস দ্য বিগেস্ট মেসেজ দ্যাট ওয়েন ইউ সি ইওর ব্যান্ড মেম্বারস টকিং ইভেন ইফ अबाउट Even if it's about their girlfriend, just don't, just don't play. Yeah, stop playing. They're doing something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
যেই পার্টটাতে গানের যেই পার্টটাতে একটু হাই হ্যাট লাগবে গানের এই পার্টটাতে একটু রাইটটা একটু বেশি লাগবে সিম্বল ওই অনুযায়ী আমি অন্য যে সেপারেট মাইকিংগুলো আমি ওগুলো বাড়াই আর কি বাট আই ট্রাই অলওয়েজ ট্রাই টু কিপ দ্য ওয়ান সাউন্ড লাইক দ্য হোল কিট সাউন্ড অ্যাজ মাই মেইন সাউন্ড বাকিগুলো জাস্ট is this specific to indalo or is it specific is this for all your bands that you record with uh it started with blacks uh, f- from blacks third album right which where we actually noticed the difference yeah abar abar the difference to onik yeah because or i get to uh, i didn't know all these things it was recorded in bengal obviously right yeah, bengal huh? right. well, if a drummer knows his sound then the band's job is half done because you know what it takes to nail the drum track down yeah <laughs> i like how you're looking at me and then you're saying <laughs> right <laughs> so ha o to jodi ekta drummer jane je i know my sound in regards to big roles and big fills and like flashy mm-hmm. drum rolls and stuff um how much of that do you prefer in your songs do if you... if it fits if it complements the songwriting I would love that. Mm. But, you know, I can hear a perfect combination role, which is perfect, sounds perfect, feels perfect, but if I take that and put it in my song, if it doesn't feel right, I wouldn't say it's bad, I would say this is not necessary for this song. Yeah. So you'd be like say that. Yeah, but most of the drummer they don't get it because they're like I played it so well. <laughs> Why won't you keep it? They just don't think my think band wise right or song wise in your compositions hmm. how do you prioritize uh, setting the metronome is it that is it you who sets the metronome or is it usually the drummer that sort of gives you a uh, sort of a note che ko tha bolta hai well uh, it actually varies songs or song wise hmm. sometimes if it's a speedy song hmm. i let the drummer say to mean you know because i cannot say play something with, which is not I mean, within the reach of your ability mm-hmm. i cannot say that so i first see oh what to buy so if i need more then i say na i do that money you know i need more punch and more it should be faster mm-hmm. but if he's fine like for some thing either i don't say anything and uh i'm very picky about soft songs because mm-hmm. dynamics is one thing they don't get it so true they like most drummers yeah, most drummers they they just they like generally drummers don't yeah. get it <laughs> they go like ta ta tu da ta tu du du and they'll say it's soft it's slow so it's it's nice I'm like yeah but it should be ta ta tu du da you know i can't just express it like that yeah. no but the way you said it it's kind of kind of makes sense yeah it does yeah so dynamics is very important no matter how hard mm-hmm. you know, dying your drums that sounds so wrong <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, it makes sense like spacing the song well yeah. gaan shune aur lyrics shune baje liye i'm yeah. sure i have to complain about our drums i'm sorry i'm such a bitch in this show <laughs> most of the drummers they don't listen to the lyric mm, that's interesting if you listen to the like like the drum uh, i'm talking about matt cameron who's a I think my favorite drummer of all time Matt Cameron he plays for a sound garden and Pearl Jam what mm. can you ask for yeah. simultaneously the drummer and he's a completely different drummer into to different bands Pearl Jam is more like a straight out rock drummer and sound garden he plays like he he, he plays like with a man band. Band. <laughs> yeah, he's a man man but with mm. dynamics and everything so o jo kon drums bajaye oi kono ekta magazine e bolchhilam je first if chris writes the lyrics or he tries to get the lyrics mm-hmm. and if the lyrics is somewhat mellow he tries to com- like complement that feel of the drum so i'm like an ass so it's just it's actually very true because us being drummers ourselves we don't pay much and we don't pay any attention to the lyrics unless yeah, we're writing it yeah it's true it. like i mean easy yeah. and i think i should start even when constructing a beat absolutely example, the lyric more... can change your way of thinking like thinking, this is yeah. more mellow you can play less notes and and some usually because of anger rage you can go more to how the drummer is cuz i think it's the same thing as a major chord and a minor chord okay yeah. like major chord is the ones that usually sound happier like it to cheer you up beat 
Yeah. And minor chords, minor notes are deep, usually darker, darker yeah. deep, darker. So, because I think you've, ha- I'm pretty sure you've had this conversation with the drummer when you said in the studio or in the practice that you can't shuffle the ona, you can't straight bajo. Mm. I'm pretty sure you've had that conversation. It's the same thing. Like when I made shuffle, when you play a shuffle bit, that's the deep. When it sounds a little lovely, mm. mm. but when you play a straighter song on that soft mellow tone, it it does sound a little deeper, yeah. like deep. There you go. Mm. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that too. It's a very yeah, interesting thing. Very From all the drummers that you worked with, who are your top five drummers? Which one did you say? Okay, I have worked with. Let me first jot it down. Kavi, Kavi, Shabdi, Tony, Arafat. I think I only know the answer. Dio, Zulia, Nafis. Oh my god, I am in the line of like <laughs> these big men. Oh my god. Shopje kaise the bichi costly sir. Main pair ke aapke shopje bichi the sir. In any way, like that the life personal life me. Ah, it, it has to be Tony because of like um, for the twelve years together. Mm. So over the years, like shopje bichi. Or involved chile na lagi. Involved bad. Or uh, early, early. I'm talking about early stage. He had issues with time management, like I've never seen in my like, life. Like drum time management or actually time management is in showing up on time yeah. at the jamming. Yeah. Showing time. up and not showing up <laughs> <laughs> more, more likely. How did that? That used to bother me a lot. But I guess, you know, I guess what he lacked in time management, he made up in playing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He, did, he, did. he was very good at covering up with his drumming. Drumming. Yeah. Yeah. Such flair and finesse in that guy. <laughs> and if you guys don't know this, John Bear only get the interesting communication uh, method as a drummer. The shit they like, I've noticed that it took up for John Bear. Just when he comes back, the only person he stares at or gives looks to is the drummer. John John Bear just when Zulia does the bajay in in John in the circus, he's always looking at. Zulia, always like so that you guy. Know you know how, how? Do you know how intense that is when yeah. he's actually looking and staring at you with those because eyes? Because it's like because the drummers, they're they're like the drivers of like us on the road. Mm-hmm. They're the drivers. If the driver gets a little too bumpy, too bumpy, or too carried away, we're gonna crash badly. Mm-hmm. So I need to check up on the driver <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> right, very, very good answer. First question. Uh, it's it's asked by uh, none other than Mr. Arafat Kazi. Arafat Kazi. <laughs> so your bestie. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> so his question is, who is the best tr- drummer in the history of Bangladesh, and why is it me? <laughs> <laughs> Such an Arafat Kazi question. <laughs> you can imagine him saying it. <laughs> I John Balato. <laughs> <laughs> Arafat just. Answer his own question, but I'll answer the second one. Why it's him? Because he's unique. Mm-hmm. He's uh, unique of his like own self. <laughs> uh, we both love watching uh, Bangla movies while we're absolutely trashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we never talked about drumming. <laughs> never talked about drumming. It's like uh, he always used to like complain. Can I be famous or can I be famous now? <laughs> so there's at least talking about music and drumming and whatnot. It's such a narrow path. Can I be famous? 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 <laughs> oh my god. Uh so thank you Arafat Bhai for that lovely question. So the second question actually has three parts to it. And it's been asked by Afif Afif. If no if you guys don't know, he is admin of uh Bangladesh Drummers and Percussionists yeah. Society. He is uh, one of those guys who's trying to bring the drummers community together. Yes, yeah, so right. And very we'd nice. like to give him a shout out. Yeah, and awesome. he's a drummer of Mirror Blaze as well. He's a drummer of Mirror Blaze. He's running a couple of businesses which is basically targeting to drummers. He is making t-shirts and drum Pads, uh, practice Whoa, pads for practice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. And he's, he's making it personalized for all drummers. So I mean, he, he does really branding nice. and stuff in those places. He's pretty cool. And so drummers, if you are also watching this, if you're watching this, you guys should go and join the group, Bangladesh Drummers and Percussionists Society. All right. So the question he asked is, 
The first one, how it was different for you to work with a new setup? It's completely different because uh, with Black, it was more like my idea of a like, song, like basic idea of a song. I used to bring it up and audition and they used to, like, you know, they used to play it like, like for a other input, they used to play it like other multiple by but with Indalo, it's mostly jam based. Like, hardly ever messages where I came up with something and I was like, hello, and then I'm not a big column. It's not the case. Indalo is more like on the spot, happened right there. Mm -hmm. And then we got excited and okay, this is this sounds amazing. Let's just record it with our mobile and then Basha Geshune. We should work on it and then I'm just a tune and lyrics. So, Huge difference. Uh, Indalo is more organic, and uh, Black was more produced, like pre-produced. Right. Yeah. So a distinct difference in sound. Mm -hmm. Second question is, do you think Tony Bhai did his best in Chobar Pora? Yeah, absolutely. I think Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be really honest. Drumming wise, Chobar Pora was an amazing album. Mm -hmm. We all agree on that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But his playing wise, complementing to the song wise, I think the fourth album, the self title, was the best. Because there he played like, I don't butch with the feels, but with Chobe Pore, he, he went all out. He went all out. But Tohon, I'm Raurukum Chilan, alright, let's just you know, go crazy and yeah, let's it. bring it in so it they, shows the maturity, I think. No? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not saying Ushwar Poor was his like uh, non-mature work. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. We were like that then, mm -hmm. but with the um, fourth album, we were more mature. Having said that, Ushwar Poor, kichu kichu ganer beat, I still think akon jara drama achhe, but shamne jara achbe, we'll have a very good time picking those songs up. And I, I am. I am, I'm actually going to agree, <laughs> agree to that fact. It's a very difficult task as well. <laughs> it's a difficult look at it. <laughs> the last question, what is your dream setup? My dream setup? Okay. Very... My dream setup. It will look like a man like sleep not though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know. He, he has two drummers basically. He has Diohai and then he has me. And then he has Zuberman and Tanji, and then he has Sabi and <laughs> <laughs> he has Sabi and Bart. <laughs> Basically, it's just a John and Circus and Indalo together. Yeah. So Sadi would fall in the more like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. John, it's called the John Sir Carlo. <laughs> so if you, if you guys don't already know, uh, John Bhai absolutely loves Sabi. <laughs> he loves him. He loves him to bits actually and he doesn't he's never gonna admit that. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot of So we live in the same place man. Yeah. Can't be can't be boys. Oh my dream setup. You guys heard of Steve Jordan? Yes. <laughs> yes. Clean drummer. Yeah, I would love to have him as my drummer. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. <laughs> fine, it's okay. You can have him. Go bring him. <laughs> Yeah, because after the video, I'm telling you, I'm John. John, John. I'm John. I'm John. I'm John. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So, four men band. Oh, yeah. With your son, the best singer. Oh, okay. I thought just I want to see a group band. No, but if you want to put yourself behind. I don't think the answer would change. <laughs> no, but would you be the vocalist of that band? No, absolutely not. I would love to play guitar. Right. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Who, would you who, want the, who, who would you want as the vocalist then? My all-time favorite vocalist Sadiqan. man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to have Chris Cornell. Chris oh, Cornell. Nice. Absolutely. Legend. <laughs> Legend, Victor. Thank you very much, John Bear. 
for concluding the first ever episode of Amgulaka TV. Yeah. I mean, it's been an absolute honor to have you on the show and I hope you guys enjoy the show just as much as we've enjoyed interviewing him and hope you guys take a lot about it, a lot out of this because I know Zulia Bhai and I we've learned so much by just having a conversation with him. So thank okay. you so much John Bhai. It's been an no absolute worries. pleasure. No, worries. no, worries. Anytime. anytime, anytime. So sh sh should we just shake hands or should we hug it up? No. Uh, I actually put my hands out, but no. All right. All, right, all, right, all, right. all right, so guys, that's it for today's episode. Stay tuned, good things are happening. Whoa.